Hi guys, Nintendo Caprice on here, welcoming you back to Luck Play Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Okay. I'm taking off my mask. And I'm gonna take this opportunity to play a couple of mini-games just to get these out of the way. I don't know how long this is gonna take. There's a couple of mini-games here. Um I'll just go ahead and show you. But uh this one here is the shooting gallery. You'll need the bow and arrows before you can play that one. But this one over here, well, actually, I don't know if I can play this one either, because I haven't bought the bomb bag yet. Shit. Okay, well, I'll have to get some rupees and go get it then. It's not that hard to get, so, oh well. And that is going to be part of, you know, the quest. It's actually going to be quite essential, to tell you the truth. So we'll just go up here and do our usual thing and pick up our hundred rupees. You can see they're going to be there again, so that'll be very useful. Jump those things, Link. I don't know how you do it, but to do it, pull yourself over there. I'm walking around. I'm turning right. I'm jumping off the ledge. I'm walking up to a treasure chest. I'm opening the treasure chest. I'm excited about what's going to be in the treasure chest. I hold the rupee over my head. It is a silver rupee. It is worth a hundred. I now am going to go to the bomb shop, which is in West Klook Town. West Klook Town. You know, it's like that, like that song. See the clock upon the wall, but it don't bother me at all. That is such a terrible song. It's not that bad, but it's... You, I, there are plenty of Michael McDonald songs that are way better than that. Actually, these guys might not be open yet, because it's too early. But we'll see. No, they're open. Yay. So let me speak to you. Welcome. This is where you get the bombs, by the way. And it gets much easier to learn your way around this town by just playing the game. Because I can't really make it look familiar to you. Like, I mean... You know, like when you're watching someone else play the game and they know what they're doing, you don't have to bother to pay attention to the surroundings or anything like that, but when you're actually playing it, you have to know what's where and, what you know, that kind of thing. So, and if there was a way I could make it so that I could explain what I was doing better, where I was going in relation to where I've been, that might make it make more sense to you, but for the time being, this is about the best I can do. So now that I have the bomb bag, which includes 20 bombs, I can play this minigame, which is sponsored by... You know what? I'm not sure how long it's going to take me to do this, to be honest with you. When I play these minigames, I'm probably going to just cut straight to the time that I succeed, rather than doing a whole bunch of failures of this, because these are just minigames, for crying out loud. It's like, you know, you wouldn't want to watch somebody lose at Pac-Man for, you know, five minutes. Anyway. It looks like we have a visitor, honey. I wonder if it's a customer, darling. These guys are just getting it on over here, ain't they? Damn, we remember these guys from Ocarina. Ocarina, I'll play. Hit each target with a bomb chew in the time it takes to and uh, in the time it takes us to dance through one song. But if you fall off this platform, you're out. Yeah, simple enough. Now this game's actually going to change from one day to the next, and I'm going to have to come back and beat this game again on the second and third day. So, and this can be a little tricky. We want to try to get these, like, as soon as possible, because the platforms start getting faster. And it doesn't get faster based on how many targets you hit. It gets faster based on how much time goes by. So that's why you need to get these, like, really fast. I'm just kind of spamming them. Not really concentrating too much. Okay, that's four. I think that's four. That's going to be five, if I can get that one. It's probably better just to concentrate on one target at a time, so you can make sure you get them all. Um, oh, that wasn't even close. And you have to aim a little awkwardly, too, to make sure they go through. That's a six, right? Ooh, that's seven. Good. This one's actually pretty hard. And like I said, on the second day, it'll change. Okay, there you go. Got it. Damn, didn't expect to get that on the first take. Now, there's actually another game that you play as a Deku Scrub. And it kind of works the same way. You'll have to play it once on each of the three days getting a prize each time, leading up to the heart piece, which you get on the third day. So, And we'll have to do this eventually, so we might as well do it now, when the heart pieces are the most useful. Might as well do it, get them now. So the Deku Scrub game is actually up north. Yeah, up north, kind of like me. Um, in North Crook Town. Wait, is it? In, yeah, it is in North Crook Town. I, I hope that's nice and annoying, so that... <laughs> Anyway, oops. I didn't mean to talk to you. So over here by the fairy fountain, there's a little Deku scrub flower. You just burrow into this and jump the fence here. 
There's also something I should probably do on the first night. See, I could just spread these games out, maybe. But I gotta remember to go back and do them, which is why I don't want to get caught up doing something else. You know, in the meantime, and get distracted and forget to go back and do this. Because if you go back to the first day before doing all three days and winning all three days, you'll have to do it over again all three days in a row. You have to do it on three days consecutively in one, you know, cycle of the three days. You can't do, like, the first day and then warp back to the first day and do it the second day of a different cycle. Now, this is actually really hard. I had a hard time with this on my practice run. <laughs> This, on the first day, it's not hard at all, but... Oh shit, I'm not... I shouldn't be going for that one. Yeah, well, I got it. You have these floating platforms, each with rupees on them, and you basically want to... just get all six of them before a minute and 15 seconds runs out. But, I don't know, something... I'm not so good at this 3D stuff, like... seeing where I am and knowing when exactly to let go of the flowers. It, I guess you get better at it as you play, but still, nothing can ever really make it perfect, you know, to where you can actually know for certain that... I mean, you can watch for your shadow, but it's, since the deck of scrub is so small, it's really hard to see. Can I get back down here? Shit. Oh, man, I thought I was done. Okay, we have plenty of time. Yeah, like I said, on the first day, it's easy, but on the second day, holy crap. That's when it gets really bad. The third day is even worse. We got it, we got it, we got it! Yes, okay. It's all over! Hmm. Hmm. Amazing, it's a new record. Take this. And we get a purple rupee, alright. My name is Capri Sun. I know it's a strange name for a Deku scrub. It's because I'm not a Deku scrub, but shh, don't tell anybody. What time are we up to? 7.40. Yeah, I knew this was going to take a while. I'll have to show you the other mini games because they're different from one playthrough to the next. Now, you're going to want to hang out here in this area around midnight. Well, hey, guess what? You know what I can do? Wait. Shoot the balloon. This guy hanging on a red balloon up here. Pop! <coughs> Since I got the rupees, I might as well do this now. This is Tingle. This is another thing I had a really hard time finding for some reason on my first playthrough. Because I was looking around at night and I couldn't find him. I didn't realize he was only there during the day. And then I didn't realize that he was hanging up in the air. So, because I thought the first time I found him he was like running around or something. I got confused. I think I got him confused with the running man. Anyway, well, he sells maps. He'll sell you a map at Clock Town. Clock Town for five rupees. And you'll have to talk to him again, pop the balloon again, to get him to sell you the other one, which you will need. There's no sense in putting it off, so I'm gonna get him now. Because I'll be doing a lot better if I have the maps to go by. Get back down here! I said get back down here! Bitch! What are you writing? That would be cool to hang up in the air and write something. To, I don't know. Okay. Can we get on with this? Yes, I will. Woodfall! That's our first area where our first temple is. We'll be going there later, much later. Call again! Tingle Tingle Kurulimpa! Where does that put us? 918? I know sometimes when I say, oh, I'm up to 9 minutes and it's actually only like 840. Well, that's because I start the recording and then I go get situated in my recliner and get all comfortable. So the actual video doesn't start till like 20 seconds later. Um, even if I pass time, it's not gonna get me to midnight. So, I will just meet you here at midnight on the first day, okay? See ya.